in, uh, in uh, the Western Hemisphere. That's Nicaragua, yes. Cuba, Ecuador, Bolivia, Venezuela. You know, there's many countries in Africa from Namibia uh, to Zimbabwe, I, I can mention. I can mention a lot of uh, moderate uh, Muslim states, as they call them, I, uh, in uh, Asia. Indonesia, uh, Malaysia, and the countries of yeah, this. Yes, exactly. I can mention India in the list. This is more than half the world's population. <laughs> the only thing is, they don't. Uh, they, uh, their media is not as strong as uh, CNN and Alger uh, Al Jazeera and Al Arabia and, and BBC c combined. Th th that's the only thing. The United States and its allies are masters of illusions. So d don't fall into these illusions where it's us versus the world. Yes, they are a powerful empire, uh, but that doesn't mean they're invincible. Uh, they don't represent half the world. You you have two major powers, an upcoming superpower, the People's Republic of China. You have a former superpower and, and still a major world power and a major European power, the Russian Federation supporting you. You have the most powerful uh, country in the Middle East, the, the, the Iran, supporting you. Don't think you're alone at all. You If, if another country got only 10% of what your country was facing, they would collapse, you know. If, 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 a Europe, if a European member of NATO got even 10 to 15 percent of the pressure Syria has on, on it, they would collapse. Uh, the Syri you should be proud that your country has stood uh, for over a year against the intimidation, the diplomatic attacks, the terrorism, the foreign mercenaries, the weapons shipments, the media war. Uh, you're not alone, and in fact, I think the Syrian people should know that they're fighting a war, uh, uh, as part of a global war. This is part of a global war, and then they're in the front right now. Because this global war also includes the terrorist attacks in Russia, uh, you know, the, the missile shield directed against Russia, the yeah. encirclement of China, uh, the terrorist attacks against Iran, the pressure on Iran, the, the regime change agendas in Latin America against Venezuela, uh, and uh, the balkanization attempts against Bolivia. The, the, even the 2006 war against Lebanon, this is a continuation of the Israeli attack against Lebanon. You know, Syria was the main target of that, that, that attack. This is all part of the same front, and, and the Syrian people should know that they're, they're fighting right now on the front lines, and that there many people across the world appreciate what they're doing and support them morally politi and politically. Building on that note, as a researcher, many people say right now that Syria is a turning point in a new... Uh, global system, a new uh, global way of uh, running the world. Do you agree with that? Do you think the events of Syria will be a changing point in, in recent or modern history? I think what's happening in Syria is very important. It's at the eye of the storm. There's a great storm and Syria is at the eye. It can shift uh, the global strategic uh, balance. You know, uh, this is more than just about strategic balance, what's happening in Syria. There's a people's story behind it, but I think on the bigger picture, on the, on the bigger level, that this will affect uh, what's going to come in the coming century. It will affect Russia, it will affect China, it will affect Iran. Let, let me tell you something. The, the, these countries are also supporting Syria out of necessity. This directly affects all their national security. They yes. know that this will change the global equation. They have no choice but to support Syria. Everything that people are saying about them... Uh, you know, supporting a dictatorship or, or, or stories like that. No, that's not true. They have no choice but to support Syria. It's part yes. of strategic necessity because they know that the global balance will change with Syria. Syria is the last, uh, Syria along with Lebanon arguably, as well as Algeria, are the last independent countries on the Mediterranean basin. All the other countries since the fall of Libya are all part of the EU's uh, um, uh, Medi um, Euro-Mediterranean yes. partnership. S Syria has been suspended. It's, it, it, it actually has withdrawn, actually. Yes. Uh, Syria has withdrawn, and it was never fully participating in it. Uh, Syria is also not part of NATO's Mediterranean dialogue. Every single other country, including Algeria, are. Lebanon and Syria are the only countries that aren't part of this. And this the, these policies are actually imperialist po uh, programs to expand the boundaries of NATO and the European Union, and Syria is one of the only holdouts. And if the government does collapse, 
I'm sure that Syria would uh, enter these programs as well as becoming uh, an economic uh, colony of uh, the United States and European Union. But it, it's held up, and this is why th this is such an important uh, battle and war that's, that's being fought. Because if all these things happen, uh, you're going to see that the Palestinian front is going to become quiet. You know, Syria is very important for the Palestinians. Uh, is uh, Lebanon will sh Lebanon will be isolated? Uh, yes. It'll, there'll be a lot of problems for resistance in Lebanon. So the entire strategic equation would change. So based on all the factors that you've just mentioned, how do you see things in Syria developing from here? Well, no one can tell the future, but so far we see that uh, uh, in Damascus, the anti-government forces were routed. Uh, in Aleppo, things are being cleaned up. Um, the Turks have to wake up. It's very important that, that Turkey wake up, and the people in Turkey are waking up. A lot of the people in Turkey realize that this is not to their benefit. A lot of the business class, uh, entrepreneurs and, uh, and uh, business elites realize that this has hurt them. It's isolated Turkey from all its neighbors. Look, Turkey historically had bad relations with Greece. Uh, they've become better in the last decade. Yes. Uh, it has bad relations with Armenia, and this has been historic from Ottoman times. Yes. Um, its relations with Iran have become bad. Iran stopped the visa regime with them. Its relations with Iraq have become bad, and of course its relations with Syria 